Hi everyone, today I am working on a bodice for my friend Emily. I'm uh, finishing the inside seams, which it's not the best job and I'm probably doing it wrong, whatever. Uh, and you can see here the lining didn't quite match up, so I left some space there. I'll either sew something over the top of it or um, just finish the lining edge there as well. So like I said, I'm probably not doing this correctly and feel free to tell me what I'm doing wrong in comments, but it gets the job done and um, Emily has already seen what I'm doing and likes it. Um, this bodice is for her to wear at the office because she has a sit down job in front of a computer and she also has scoliosis. So this is um, to help her keep her posture so she doesn't go home in terrible back pain every day. Um, and this one I did actually flatline. I'm very proud of myself for that. And yeah, I didn't introduce myself. I'm Lauren, also known as your sewing buddy. And um, what this is, is I sit and sew and then you, my fellow, well, my viewer, my fellow viewer, I guess, because I watch a lot of sewing YouTube as well. But you can sew along, you can paint, draw, whatever crafty thing you do. I'm just here to talk at you and to give you that lovely feeling that you're not sitting there alone doing whatever your craft is. Um, on that note, I have made progress on my super secret Queen Bumblebee project. I'm very happy with how it's going but I'm very frustrated that I can't show you. Um, I've also, I have 20 subscribers now, which hello to all 20 of you. Um, and I have over a thousand minutes watched this year, which I've only been doing videos for this year. So it's small beans, but it's huge to me. So thank you so much for sitting and listening to me and um, crafting along. Uh, so this past week, I, what did I do? Oh, um, there was the Rocco's Modern Life movie on Netflix that we watched, which was exactly what I expected it to be, as was the Invader Zim movie. Um, I don't know if this is going to continue to be a theme where old Nickelodeon cartoons are brought back as movies, but they're cute. It's nostalgic. It's fun. Um, while I was watching this, I, or sorry, while I was sewing this, I was watching uh, Critical Role, which is a, it's a bunch of voice actors sitting around playing Dungeons and Dragons. Um, so of course there are a lot of fun voices and it's a very colorful story. If you enjoy listening to stories like audiobooks and things like that, or if you enjoy Dungeons and Dragons or any combination of those things, it's probably a good thing for you to also watch and craft along to. Um, they're, the episodes are usually three to four hours long. So if you've got a lot of sewing to do in a day, then you are set. And as you can see, my thread is much longer than it's supposed to be. There are a couple of times in here where it knots up. Um, always um, cut your thread a little bit shorter. Don't do your full arm span. I know this. I just forget sometimes. Um, but back to Critical Role. It's a lot of fun. I'm watching their first campaign right now. I'm already caught up with their second campaign. Um, their first one... It takes a little bit before you can really get into it because they're still getting the feel of being on camera and um, they're so much younger. Like it's amazing seeing their little baby faces there and then um, watching the more recent episodes and seeing how, how they've aged. Um, they've all aged well, of course, because they're all beautiful people too. But... Yeah, the uh, episode that I was watching here, they're in the Underdark where a Mind Flayer civilization has been taken over by an evil beholder somehow. 
And so that's exciting, entertaining. Um, and I'm going to start playing in a game with my husband every other Friday, which is based on the same world from Critical Role, because Matt Mercer, who is the dungeon master, kind of created his own world for it, which is a, just everything about the show is so beautiful. Like it, they have their hiccups because it's recorded live, but it's really amazing. And like the reason they do it on video, I guess they had talked about doing a podcast of their show and then Felicia Day was like, hey, what if you did your show on Geek and Sundry and then we can add in all these things and change the stuff. And they're like, no, we can do our show on Geek and Sundry, but we're going to do it. We're just going to play the game and you can record it. And it that's what they did. And it's everything that it needs to be. Um, to see other shows like Dimension 20 on, um, oh, what is their, it's College Humor, um, but they have a subscription service as well. Anyway, Dimension 20, it's post-processed, so they add in sound effects and visual effects and things like that. And they edit the show so you're not watching an entire three or four hours of them playing. But while that is entertaining, I feel that it loses something when you're there to watch Dungeons and Dragons. But then you're not seeing the whole picture. So, again, they're both wonderful shows. I love them both for different reasons. Um... And in this upcoming game, I haven't, they had a session zero, but I thought that I wasn't going to play, but my husband really wants me to play. So I'm jumping in. Um, I'm going to play a goblin bard, essentially Shirley Temple, but like she's very adorable by human standards and therefore very hideous by goblin standards. So she became a child actor and then became an adult child actor because, you know, goblins are tiny. And um, then I guess something happened with their acting troupe. There's another bard in the group already who was part of an acting troupe where something bad happened and they scattered. So I'm going to see if I can tie in with that. Um, yeah, and then join in the party. Be the adorable little uh, goblin who sings and dances and then after the show is done oh my god do I need a drink ah oh. yes I'm old enough to drink believe me so I think that'll be a really entertaining thing to play and as always if you have specific topics that you want me to talk about I can do research I can dig up stories from my past um talk to other people about their past and see if they wouldn't mind me sharing it on here, um, then leave a comment and let me know. And I, again, I appreciate my 21 subscribers and my, um, all the people who've actually watched these videos to the end. And I love you all. I hope to see you again next week and go um, like, subscribe, comment, and create something beautiful and tell me about it because I would love to hear that. All right. You have a wonderful day.